So I'm meant to make sure that our viewers and listeners understand extrinsic means rewards that come from the outside as opposed to intrinsically motivating rewards. In, in other words, from enjoying the relationships and the hair and activity, it has to be from the rewards. There's a ton of social psych research on this that's really interesting. So there's a study, for example, where little kids are brought into the laboratory and, and they're given toys and puzzles and they're having a great old time, like the playing with the truck and playing with the blocks and the whole thing. And then the researchers come in and they say, oh, what's your favorite toy? And the kid says, this truck. It's like, okay, I tell you what, if you play with that truck for 15 minutes, I'll give you a cookie. It turns out that when you give them the cookie, they like playing with the truck less because they feel like they're working for it. They feel like they have to be compensated for it, which in their head makes it feel like it's a chore as opposed to an object or, or, or an activity that's based in, in their, their inherent love and in their intrinsic love. The same thing is true with the study of, of college students who are solving puzzles, which is fun, like, you know, crossword puzzles and such. People do it for fun. So we call it pastimes. And, and they, they do it and then they're offered money to do the next round of puzzles and they, their enjoyment goes down, but precipitously. Anytime that a comp committee says you're going to make people love their jobs more by, by monetizing every part of their job, those people need to be fired immediately because they're incompetent. They actually don't know what they're talking about. They don't understand the basics of human behavior. What we all deserve is basically work. And what we all need to look for is work where we can, can serve our, our, the passions of our soul. And there's two characteristics of jobs, of work that does that. You need to feel like you're earning your success, which means your skills meet your passions and you can accomplish something really great. And the second is that you feel like you're serving others, particularly people who have less power than you do. You know, when I was president of AEI, I used to ask scholars, you know, who, who are you benefiting tangibly? I mean, you're working on this farm bill white paper or something. Think of the little girl who needs the food stamps because food stamps are part of the farm bill. Now, now, now cut out the picture of the girl you think you might be helping and put her on your computer and say every morning before you start your work, I know it's esoteric, maybe it's even boring. Say, I'm doing this for her. I'm fighting for her. That's intrinsically motivating. So here's the key thing for, for leaders who are watching us. If you want people to be intrinsically motivated, which is to say to do their work joyfully and with love, you need to make sure that they can earn their success and they can serve other people. You do those two things, you win. Furthermore, for leaders themselves, make sure you're earning your success and make sure you're serving other people. And, and when all that's in sync, it's like, it's like a symphony, man.